Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be doing chapter 4, ionic compounds. So let's get started. Uh, chemical formulas we're going to start with. Uh, what is a chemical formula? A formula is a shorthand method of describing compounds. So when we, when we want to write down a compound, we don't want to draw out the whole structure. We want to have sort of a shorthand way to write it, and that's what chemical formulas are. So elements are represented by their atomic symbols, and a subscript is used to show how many atoms are present. So let's take a look at what these chemical formulas look like. So here's an example of a chemical formula. And in this formula, we see that potassium has one atom, manganese has one atom, and oxygen has four atoms, OK? So if you're, if you're having one atom, usually you would write the one here, but it's not really necessary, so you just leave it blank. So this uh, subscript 1 is assumed, and here with the 4, we know that we have 4 oxygen atoms. So sometimes when we're writing chemical formulas, we use parentheses. Everything inside the parentheses is then multiplied by the subscript outside of the parentheses. So in this chemical formula here, we have aluminum, and then we have an NO3 ion, and then it's in parentheses, and then we have a 3 outside. So what does this mean? How do we know how many atoms there are of each element? Well, first we look at aluminum and we see that it has no subscript, so we know that it's an assumption of one. So we have one aluminum atom. Then we have this nitrogen here. So here it looks like we have one nitrogen atom because there's nothing there. But we have to remember that we have to multiply it by this three outside. So you're going to multiply this three by the one to get three nitrogen atoms because one times three is three. And finally, with the oxygen atoms, we see here that there are three oxygen atoms in the ion, but we have to multiply it by three because there are three NO3 uh, ions in the entire compound. So three times three is nine, so we see we have nine oxygen atoms because three times three is nine. Uh, and NO3, by the way, is the nitrate group, and later on we're going to be talking about ions and what exactly they mean. But for now, just know that when you have something in parentheses like that, you're going to pretty much want to treat it as a single unit. Even though there are multiple atoms inside, they stick together and they act together. So when there's something in parentheses, you're just going to treat it like it's a single object moving around. Hydrates. <clears throat> Hydrates have fixed numbers of water molecules called the water of hydration in their crystal lattices. So when you have a chemical formula but there's water involved, you're going to include this by writing the water molecules afterwards with a dot that's placed in the middle. So let's see what this looks like. Here's an example of a hydrate. We have COCl2 with 6 H2O. So how many atoms do we have for, with each element here? First, with cobalt, we have 1 because there's no subscript, so we assume that there's just 1. Then we have a 2 by the Cl, so we know we have 2 Cl atoms. Then we have two H uh, atoms here, but because we have a 6 as the coefficient, we're going to multiply the 6 by 2 and the 6 by 1 here because there's nothing here. So overall, we realize that we have 6 times 2, which is 12 hydrogen atoms, and 6 times 1, which is 6 oxygen atoms. So if you have parentheses with a number outside, you just take that number and multiply it by everything inside. And similarly, if you have a coefficient here out front, you just multiply that coefficient by all of the individual atoms that it precedes. So this is cobalt 2 chloride hexahydrate. So why is it hexahydrate? That's because we have this 6 here. So if we had a 2 there, or a 4 there, or an 8 there, it wouldn't be hexahydrate, it would be something else. So here is the prefixes that you use with hydrates. So if you have just one mo molecule, it's going to be mono. If you have two, it's going to be di, tri, tetra, penta, hexa, 